Hello, my name is Omar Yusuf. I'm going to walk you through the process of installing WS Python for both Python 2 and Python 3 on your machine. I am running on Windows 8.1 operating system with the 64-bit architecture. In order to run WS Python on your machine, you need to have Python installed on your PC. So there are several ways to install Python on your machine. The traditional way is to download Python from python.org slash downloads. WS Python is both supported on Python 2 and Python 3. For Python 2, it is called WS Python Classic, while for Python 3, it is called WS Python Phoenix. We are going to take a look at the differences between the WX Classic and WX Phoenix in another video. And some other ways to have Python running on your machine is to download the third party Python package bundle, such as the one provided by continuum.io slash downloads. And they have it for both Windows mac and linux operating systems running on both python 2 and python 3 so the advantages of running or installing the python package bundle is that you are going to have lots of hundreds of third-party libraries installed by default on your package installation so libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, SciPy, Mark.Lib, IPython, and so on will be installed by default with a single Python package installation on your machine. So another third-party Python bundle package is also provided by Entot Scientific Computing Solution which you can get to download from this URL. So you can also download for Windows, Linux, and Mac. And the list of third-party bundles library available for NTOT package bundle include WS Python as listed here. So another Python bundle you can have is the WinPython, which is primarily for Windows operating system. And then the last but not the least is the Python XY, which you can download from this URL. It also contains lots of Python third-party libraries. So after downloading your required python software then you need to head over to wspython.org to download WS Python classic from the download section so here you can download the binary for windows mac and the linux so after downloading the specific version for your pc i will also recommend you to download the WS Python demo. Then to download the WS Python Phoenix for Python 3, you need to head over to wspython.org slash phoenix slash snapshot dash builds. As at the time of recording this video, WS Python Phoenix is still under development. So you need to be on this URL to download the development will file. So here I'm going to download the specific version for my operating system, which is 64 bit. And then I'm going to download the C Python will file for 3.4 Python. So CP334 and then 64 bit will do for me. So I'm going to download just this. 
on my PC. Then another software we need to download for this tutorial is uh, WX Form Builder. So if you go to Google and search for WS Form Builder, you will be presented with a SourceForge URL. However, the official URL for the WS Form Builder is wxformbuilder.org, which as at the moment points you to this SourceForge page. So you can click on this download button to download it or you click on file to download the previous versions of the WX Form Builder accordingly. Then you also need to download a text editor. In my case, I'm using Sublime Text, but be free to use any text editor of your choice. The latest version of Sublime Text is Sublime Text 3. So after you have downloaded your files from your download folder, the file should look similar to what I have here. So you need to first of all install the Python of your choice, whether Anaconda, Python from the official Python website, or the entered version of Python, or whatever Python you need to use. So in my case, I've, I've installed Anaconda 2.7 for, for Python version 2.7 on my PC, and also I've installed Python 2 and Python 3 on my PC, just like this. So an important step I would like to mention here during the installation of Python is that you will need to add your Python part to your system environment variable. So let me demonstrate how to go about it. So you can do this automatically during the installation of your Python file. With the recent version of Python, you will have this option to add the Python executable file to your part, to your system part. However, if you mistakenly install your Python without enabling this option, then you can still do it manually, which you need to consult other materials to get it done. So after installing your Python, you will need to install other prerequisite software for this video series. You need to install your text editor, Sublime Text in this case, which I've installed. Then you also need to install WS Home Builder, which I've also installed on my PC. Then now you need to install the library for the GUI development which is WS Python in this case. So the WS Python classic installation is straightforward. So also the demo for the classic version of WS is also straightforward. Just run the executables and then select where your Python installation is and then install it there. Then for the WX Python Phoenix, which is for Python 3, you need to use an archive extractor such as the 7-zip to extract the file into your Python package, site packages for Python 3. So right click on the will file you downloaded for the WS Phoenix and then open archive with 7-zip. Then copy this particular file into your w, into your Python 3 site packages. Let me show you the location. So Python 3, locate your Python 3 part and then open the folder. Then head over to library, lib. Then search for site packages and then copy this WX folder 
right here to have wx python phoenix installed another approach to install this wheel file of ws phoenix is to use the pip install method which you can do as follow shift right click and then open command window here then you can now type in the path to your python tree that is this part copy this part then paste then you can now call pip install pip install then you can now use the tab button to search for the wheel file you have just downloaded for WS Python Phoenix then you can now press enter to install it accordingly so after the installation you need to test your installation so let's open up our python 2 installation folder then run command window from here type in python to enter the python interactive mode and then import wx so if you are not getting any error it means our library has been installed successfully then let's test for python 2 python 3 as well python 3 run command window here then type in python then import wx so if you are not seeing any error then it means our installation your installation was successful to recap in summary here is how my installation is I downloaded three distributions of, Py of Python and installed on my machine. One is the Anaconda Python for version 2.7. And then the other two distri Python distributions are from the official Python website, that is Python 2 and Python 3. So the beautiful thing is that you can run multiple sets of Python on the same machine simultaneously. So the default Python on my machine is Python 2.7 provided by Anaconda as you can see I can further import the system module and then print out the system version so Anaconda is my default Python installation just in case if you want to follow along exactly the way I'm running my code in this video series you can also use the Python 2.7 version. You can download you download it from the official python.org. To run it on my machine, I'm going to use the path directly to Python 2.7 and then slash Python. And then I can have that version of Python running as well on my machine. If you intend to use Python 3, you can also follow along, but you need to make modification, modification to some of the code I'm going to use in this video series, since I'm going to be using Python 2, not Python 3. So Python 3 can also be run simultaneously on the same machine with Python 2. Just like that. So this is my default Python installation, Python 2.7.10 provided by Anaconda Python. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you in the next one.